Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson. 9-11, we'll get right back to uh, Heather and Jamarcus in a second, but we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that's been issued for the northeastern part of Greenville County, northwest Spartanburg County, southeastern Polk County. This does not include the city of Greenville or the city of Spartanburg. However, we've got some folks that are north of these areas within the warning that need to watch out. In the meantime, very heavy rain all the way back into northeast Georgia. Here's a closer look at where the action is right now from Tryon through uh, Tigerville on down towards Traveler's Rest. And this area of uh, thunderstorm is pushing east northeast at about 35. So it's going to carry it over towards Campobello by 917, Grambling by 922, around Boiling Springs if it holds together by 946. The warning itself expires at 945, so we'll keep you posted. Jamarcus. The Storm Team 7 Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson tracking it all for us. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We'll you check in with you a little later on. Okay. All right, so I got a question for you. Have you experienced tingling in your hands or your feet, maybe balance issues? Lucky for you guys, you don't have to experience that much longer. We have Dr. Elliot Hershorn here with us to tell us some things we can do, talking about neuropathy. Good to see you, doctor. Good to see you. Yeah, usually Jack gets to do the segment, <laughs> so I'm gonna learn something today. Absolutely. Let's start with the basic definition of yeah. neuropathy. What is what is that? So it's break the word down into neuro means ne your nerves and mm -hmm. pathy just means something's wrong with it. So it's a problem where there's the, the nerves aren't functioning well. Mm -hmm. So nerves uh, send signals from your hands and your feet to your brain. If they don't work, they're going to send bad signals. So people feel numbness, tingling, burning, sharp shooting, stabbing pain. Sometimes it feels like insects are crawling mm -hmm. on their legs. They look down, there's nothing there. So something has damaged those nerves to cause them to dysfunction and now they get all these symptoms. Is there like an age? It seems like the, the common thought about this would probably be like it happens in older age, but can, it can impact anyone at any time? It can, yeah. So it is com more common as you get older. It's not normal. Normal, so we don't want to mm -hmm. just say, okay, this is normal when I get right. older, but it is more common. But anybody at any age can get it depending upon the cause. Mm -hmm. So one of the most common causes is diabetes and people are getting diabetes younger and younger. So then they could get neuropathy at an earlier age, mm -hmm. um, but it's also a side effect of chemotherapy. So anybody who has cancer that undergoes chemotherapy is likely going to have some form of neuropathy as well. And that, again, that could be at any age. So what is the, the first step in, in the treatment for, for neuropathy? What do you do? What do you do and how long does that last? So typically the treatment is going to be a medication like gabapentin or, neuro or Neurontin. And what that does is it kind of numbs your brain so that you don't feel the pain anymore. But we want to get to the root cause of why they have mm -hmm. that. So if, for example, if they have diabetes, we want to work on diet and lifestyle nutrition with the patient as kind of the first step. But then we actually have to rebuild better brain or nerve function. So the therapies that we use, they don't just mask the symptoms, mm -hmm. they actually help to regrow the function of the nerves. And when we do before and after testing to count how many nerves they have in a certain area, it actually demonstrates that we have more nerves. So the therapy actually helps to regrow new nerves. So you're having to retrain those, those connections to, That's see, right. to see how they work. Yeah, and then people don't have the pain as much. They have better uh, balance. They can uh, be more steady on their feet so they're not likely to fall. And they just have a better overall quality of life mm -hmm. over time. Let's say someone's having, uh, we're looking at a video of Jack. Of course, Jack is yeah. a, one of your patients as you've been um, help, going through there for neuropathy as well. Uh, maybe someone has that tingling, maybe some balance issues, but it's not consistent enough. What, what point do you say it's, it's more than just like kind of a, a one-time thing or twice yeah. a month thing? So I always relate it to the check engine light in your car. Everybody's seen that light, and probably everybody's ignored it once or twice, right? You're so like, I got a couple, a couple miles left. You put I'll a little piece of duct tape over it, <laughs> right. and you move on. Well, that's what we tend to do with these symptoms is we try to mask them or band-aid them or ignore them. So as soon as you feel a symptom, it's a warning sign that there's a problem. So mm -hmm. don't wait for it to get worse. If you have numbness or tingling, it means that something's been going on for quite some time already, and it's time to get an evaluation. So you come down, we'll do an evaluation, figure out what the cause is as we can, and then put a plan together specifically to address the individual's concerns and start to get those nerves to function. So if you're feeling something, don't ignore it. Be sure to give you guys yeah. a call. It, it's only gonna get worse if you don't do anything now. So mm -hmm. it's better to do it when it's not as bad so that it doesn't take as long to get the recovery right. that people are looking for ultimately. Of course, one of the questions that a lot of people ask is about um, affordability insurance. Yeah, absolutely. Are these, um, these treatments covered with insurance? Yeah, so we, we bill insurance. Uh, it's covered by most insurance companies, including Medicare. So uh, when you come in for the evaluation, we bill that just like a regular doctor's office mm -hmm. visit. So if you have a copay, that's what you pay when you come in. Um, and then, of course, we'll verify all your benefits for the continuing treatment beyond that as well. But it's, it is usually covered. How's Jack doing with his, his treatment? <laughs>
getting him to sit still that long yeah. is really the, <laughs> the miracle treatment. He, he is doing well, <laughs> and uh, he's, of course, the entertainment for everybody else that's sitting in the room I when can he's only getting imagine. the treatment. <laughs> so we appreciate him. I can only imagine. Yeah. So people can call you. Where are you guys located? We're located right on Main Street in Simpsonville, um, so it's convenient right from the highway. It's mm -hmm. easy to get to. Uh, so we have actually patients from all over the upstate that come to see us. Good central location. Yep. And people can always uh, call or text 864-977-HOPE, which is... Yep. Four six seven three. Yeah, so call uh, or text and we'll get them scheduled for a consultation and we'll see how we can help. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, Hershel. We appreciate it and then come back and see us again soon. Will do. I'm gonna we're gonna make Jack stand on one leg the next time <laughs> he comes back and see how, how it's working. Awesome. Thank you. More your Carolina coming up after this short break.